Life is our biggest adventure. And over the last couple of years, I have realized that the most dangerous risk of all time is the risk of spending life not doing what you want on a bet that you will have the freedom to do it later. Freedom is fleeting and time sure doesn't wait on us. In this life, there is no end to the adventures that we may have so long as we seek them. And my hunt for Oryx is just one part of the journey that I call life. That happened really fast this morning. Someone once said, we're not here for a long time, we're here for a good time. And for me, life is meant to be lived filled with adventures, casting my eyes on new horizons while immersing myself in new cultures, experiencing a different way of life that broadens the perspective of the world and keeps me hungry to pursue the unknown. We spotted this oryx bowl last night. We came in here this morning and we got on a red hot fresh track and we did the perfect job of tracking right into him. We got really close and we're setting up to hope for him to step out in the wind swirled and he wasted no time getting out of there. So now we're just still hunting through here. We're on his track and uh, we're just hoping if we work the bush are notorious for um, taking you on a really good walk. They're a, they're a very keen animal and um, can prove to be extremely challenging for a lunt. So um, it's exciting. That's exactly what I'm here for. So my plan was to get uh, up onto this ridge here so we can have a bit of an elevated look over this plain area here where we saw the orange from the mountain and then just as we got up here the busted, busted again the oryx had the same idea actually <laughs> these bulls love this mountain remote country and it's super thick they can come in here and hide they feel safe it's a great place for them during these winter months. We're just gonna work slowly through these mountains like we've been doing and try to turn up a bull in a spot where we can get a shot. For now, I think let's head back. We'll circle around to see if we can maybe leapfrog them a little bit, see if we can spot them again and work it from there. Might be an idea. So this morning, we, we were on foot and we 
bumped him with the, with the wind being that terrible this morning. We bumped him and I think that they ran over that hill down into this valley. Now there's no water at the bottom of that valley. And I hope they'll come drink up at this watering area here. So I think this is going to be our best bet just to huddle up here and see if we can get a shot. We're just trying to figure out where we, where we should be waiting actually for this whole thing to happen. When they come in, Oryx come in late afternoon. So then we'll have a couple of things in our, in our favour. If the wind plays along, we'll have that. We'll have the sun on our backs, which will also help. And at the moment, it's dark moon. So they can't go at night, walk around and drink and eat as they, as they normally do when it's, when it's full moon. So hopefully this, this kind of pans out. Just, just got on this Oryx first light this morning. We're gonna walk over here and just follow up and see, um, see what it looked like. We got blood. That's good. Yeah, good, good, good. We have a good blood trail. It's bright red. It looks like, um, looks like good lung blood. But he kind of bolted off. These orcs are really, really tough. So um, we're just gonna work through here and and uh, keep on the blood trail and, and find him. So thank God! <laughs> thank God! Oh, oh, come well on! Done.
That's finally paid off. Ah. It's happened. <laughs> it's beautiful. Old bull. Fantastic. It's exactly what we were looking for. Oh my gosh, I have never been so thankful for an opportunity in my life. I, oh, beautiful animal. So you can tell he's old because of what? Explain. I mean, it's got a lot of, a lot of horn mass. The horns are shortened out already. With, the, with old age, they work their horns down again. So you can see, look at the thick bases down here. Yeah. And it's nice and this is a very, very good old bull. I literally looked at AJ at one point this week and I was like, hey, um, does this normally work for you? Because <laughs> we have had such a tough hunt. Up mountains, down oh. valleys, we've tried sitting for them, we've tried everything. Stalking. But all just came together in a, in a couple of minutes there and we got onto this, this guy and he did put in a good shot. Yeah, perfect. Well done. Congratulations and there's your Ori. I'm so thankful. We've really put in, I think, I literally think it's day eight today. <laughs> I think you just, gosh. <laughs> Almost got the better of us. Oh, this I guy. was thinking that they didn't even exist <laughs> apart from tracks. <laughs> oh, I'm so thankful. Happy we got this guy. Oh. A real nice one to have. Be daring. Live the life you have always wanted. Eat the food. Drink in the culture. Because wherever you go becomes a part of who you are. To travel is to live. Thank you for watching this episode of Pursue the Wild. If you would like to hear more, check out the Wild and Uncut podcast available wherever you get your podcasts. And be sure to follow me at Christy Titus on Facebook and Instagram.